Hey everyone, I want to uh, show everyone how to calculate how much uh, energy they need to heat their house. It can also be used to cool their house or to calculate cooling their house. Um, to start with, you need the area and you need both the area of the, all the walls and the ceiling. And you need to know what the uh, R value is so you can get the U value. The U value is basically the inverse of the uh, R value. And you'll need that for both the walls and the ceiling. Uh, you need the delta T. And the delta T is basically what you want the in indoor temperature to be and what the outdoor temperature is. And the difference between those gives you your delta T. And we'll need that in Fahrenheit for this calculation. So what you do is you multiply that all out. And it's your area times your uh, U value times your delta T and I've written a program that will calculate that for us so what you do is you put your desired temperature indoors we'll say 70 and you can use whatever temperature you want if you want 68 if you want 60 I know some people actually want their indoor temperature to be 60 um, you put the outdoor temperature and we're gonna say 2 degrees now we're gonna say the length of our room is a nine foot and the width and this is in feet also and our width will be uh, uh, we'll say six foot this will be a, like maybe a bathroom and of course the height of a normal room is seven to eight foot and uh, my area if it's not eight foot it's not considered a room uh, I will say the R value of the walls is we'll say R11 for the insulation plus the uh, wood itself so we'll say 13 and ceiling our value we'll say our value is uh, 19 plus the wood and we'll call it 21 and it tells us we need a const constant 419 watts of heat just to make up for the heat loss through the walls that comes to 1400 BTUs and for those who are burning candles that's 5.4 candles now we'll say our my entire house is currently 40 by 24 8 foot tall it needs 2480 watts or 8400 BTUs or a constantly burning of 32 candles now that's not 32 candles you know a day that's 32 candles constantly non-stop just to make up for heat loss same way with Watson BTU but uh, I'm gonna put this out and anybody can use it for free and figure out how much they use or how much they need so if you're if you're producing more than you're needing of course your heat's gonna come on and off and make up the difference and if your heat drops below let's say you uh, drop to 60 and you want to heat up 70 if you're burning uh, this much it's not going to bring it back up to 70 you'll need a little more to bring it back up and then you'll need this amount to maintain also this does not uh, account for uh, solar anything from the sun the, the extra heat or the um, it doesn't add that in uh, now let's say we got an indoor temperature we want it to be 70 and the outdoor temperature is we'll say 90 and it says we need uh, approximately 2400 BTUs to cool again that doesn't account for the sun shining on the, the roof and the heat soaking through so uh, just keep that in mind alright everybody have a great day